This is a story about two brothers, Nicola and Jacopo, 13 and 12 respectively. The narrator met the boys at the outskirts of Verona when the two brothers were selling fruits and he bought a box of wild berries from them. The narrator found them undertaking different jobs to earn a living. The boys polished shoes, sold newspapers and did many other jobs to earn a living. They also took the tourists to the places of their interest, the Juliet's tomb and in and around Verona. They were very helpful to the narrator and his driver Luigi as they could buy packets of American cigarettes or even arrange seats for the opera. The narrator was leaving Verona on Monday. He asked the boys if he could do anything for them before going. The young brother Jacopo asked the narrator if he could drive them to Poleta. The narrator's driver Luigi had the Sunday off. But the narrator planned to drive them himself. The following afternoon, they drove to a tiny village. The two brothers came out of the car and went towards a red-roofed villa and promised to come back within an hour. Out of curiosity, the narrator rang the bell of a grilled entrance and a young lady in the dress of a nurse came out. She was a nurse who made him look through a glass partition without saying anything. The narrator saw both the brothers sitting at the bedside of a girl of 20. The girl resembled her two brothers. The narrator requested the nurse to tell him everything that she knew about them. The nurse told him everything and this is when the nurse told him their heart-rendering story about their father being killed in a war and home being destroyed in the war and their sister suffering from tuberculosis. Also how the brothers persuaded them to take their sister Lucia into the hospital. She had made good progress in the last 12 months and they hoped that Lucia would be able to walk and sing again. The nurse told him that Lucia's brothers made weekly payments for the hospital bills. The narrator waited outside until the boys rejoined him. Then he drove them back to the city. They sat beside the narrator, but no one uttered a word. The narrator wanted them to feel that they had kept their secret safely. Their selfless love, sacrifice and devotion touched the narrator's heart. Even the war had not broken their spirit. Their selfless action gave a new hope for humanity.